Welcome to Kent Channel. Uh, nice to have you with us. And today I want to talk a little bit about Okinawa. Um, I don't know uh, how much information is being passed around in the, in the United States about Okinawa, but uh, there's a big controversy going on down there. And uh, I have actually lived in Okinawa. I lived there in uh, the last half of 1975. I was on one of the big air bases there. And uh, I've been back at least a hundred times since then. And I have hundreds of Okinawan friends. And I've actually filmed programs down there. And so I I'm pretty well know what's going on. But uh, let me just fill you in with a little bit of background. Um, some, something like 75% of the main island of Okinawa is uh, devoted to U uh, U.S. Uh, armed forces bases. Um, that's a little bit deceptive because uh, a, a large portion of that is, is a, a huge watershed area which can't be used for anything anyway. And the Marines use it as jungle training. But nevertheless, a lot of the, uh, even right in the middle of the city, they'll, you'll have and the big and the you'll have a base and the the big one that's a uh, that's a problem right now is a base called Ftema. Uh The Ftema base is located smack dab in the middle of Ginoan City, and uh, every time it, it's a Marine Corps air station, and it uh, houses uh, Ospreys, Osprey uh, helicopters. Now right now there's 24 deployed there. I think they're going to increase that number, and so every any time. These airplanes or some of the support aircraft, and not, those are not the only places, uh, things that use the air uh, airfield there. They they fly in, you know, cargo planes and whatnot. And so these things come in low over these housing areas, and people are worried that if there's a crash, people will die. And in fact, they've had a couple of crashes. Uh, nobody died, fortunately, but anyway. Um, so there's a big controversy, and this has to be moved somewhere. So um, there's been a, pl a plan long in the works to move it up onto the north end of the island. Um, Japan elected a sort of uh, eccentric uh, prime minister, and he went down there and promised to move it out of the prefecture altogether, which was completely against, uh, in violation of what the U.S. and Japan had agreed to over the years. And that just uh, just turned everything upside down, and there's been huge protests now that because the that prime minister is out, and they've turned it back to the party that which is in power before, and and they're proceeding with the construction of the new air base, uh, Marine Corps Air Station, way up north, on the island, and there are daily protests. And it's really, um, I went down to check it out. I just, uh, I, I, the uh, mainland media doesn't cover it properly, and you can't believe a thing that the Okinawan media writes about it. So I decided to just go down and take a look for myself. So I. Uh, we drove over, over to Ftema Air Base, Air, Air Marine Corps Air Station. We went to Ftema Base, let's call it. We went inside. Uh, there were no protesters there, and the reason is because it was in the afternoon. And after we did that, uh, I, you know, I went in and took some pictures and looked around and refamiliarized myself with the base. I've been there 20 years before and 20 years before that, so I, I've known about it for a long time. In fact, back in 1975, I was uh, advocating that that base be closed and moved somewhere else. So after that, then we drove up the north to the place where they're building this new base. It's uh, in the Henoko district of a city called Nago. There's already a base there called Camp Schwab, and that's going to be severely, uh, you know, expanded by putting in a. No, I don't. I don't know if it's 3,000 meters, but it's going to be a nice long runway. The one they have now is 2,700. So. I doubt it will be shorter, shorter than that. And they do this by filling in the ocean, which of course will destroy the coral reefs and you know all that garbage. So um, we got up there, and on the way up, as we were almost, almost arriving, coming from the other direction were some riot buses, riot police buses. And so we knew that the demonstrations for the day were over with because the riot police were now leaving the scene. But when we got up there, there were a few uh, holdovers. Um, these protesters are not necessary locals. Uh, they are, uh, they seem to be financed by China. And China just wants to create all kinds of chaos down there so that uh, um, the Okinawans will, I guess, want to throw the Americans out or whatever. Or at least that uh, Tokyo will feel like they have to 
throw the Americans out of Okinawa. I just that isn't possible. Okinawa is so strategic. The uh, Kadena Air Base is four and a half hours by airplane from every major city in Asia, in East Asia. Uh, that kind of strategic location, it's, you, you can't close the air base there. So I don't, I, you know, they're just causing trouble. But um, it was interesting because these protesters up at the, uh, they, they protest down at Tema in the morning, then they get on a bus and they go up and protest at Henoko in the afternoon, and then at 5 o'clock they're all done and they get a, a free lunch out of it and they, eat, they get paid, um, the professionals at least, get paid 20,000 yen a day, which is like $200 a day to do these protests. These are not local protesters, these are uh, pro professional protesters. And uh, I've lived in Okinawa, I know the Okinawan people, I know that uh, some of them uh, would like to see the bases go all together, but a lot of them depend on the bases for their livelihood. It's a huge industry for Okinawa, and a lot of them like Americans. And the problem is, the uh, both of the newspapers on Okinawa are totally left-wing, um, anti-American, anti-Japanese for that matter, um, and uh, and uh, the Okinawan people are fed this garbage day in and day out. And plus, um, the Okinawans are Generally speaking, I don't think they're that political, but um, if they see an opportunity there for to make a buck, um, I think they'll go after it. So, um, you know, if they go along with Japan, then they get lots of development money, but uh, maybe China would give them more money, they think. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's, uh, when, I, when we drove up to Henoko, the pro, there were a few protesters still left, and I was quite surprised. They have They've uh, set up a permanent camp across from the gate of the base. They've got these blue tents all down the street. Uh, anybody who walks through is intimidated, harassed. Uh, some people have been assaulted. Of course, the uh, sanitation there is very bad. Um, they park everywhere, all of it illegally, um, the protesters do, and nobody does anything about any of this stuff. You know, it's illegal occupation of public land, uh, intimidation, assault. They, uh, they made uh, at least one attempt to enter the base illegally, which was filmed. That film was leaked to the Japanese media. As a result, the guy who leaked it got fired. Um, the guy who leaked it should have uh, received an award for patriotism or something. But anyway, um, and the police are nowhere to be seen until, enough, until there's enough scuffle uh, that uh, the left-wing media will have some film which they can doctor and make it look like the Americans were roughing up the, Jap the, the uh, Okinawans, which of course is not the case. And anyway, those protesters are not all Okinawans anyway. And we've even got some uh, uninvited foreigners from all over the place. Um, there's one in particular that comes from Australia that should stay home, but she likes to come there and cause trouble. So that's what's going on in Okinawa. Um, it's a uh, I think uh, there's really no choice but to move that base. I personally, I wouldn't put it in Henoko. I'd, there's a couple of other locations that I think are better, but it has to go from Tema. And I don't think there's any other place in Japan that it can be put right now, except on the Okinawan island, the main island. So um, they're probably going to have to press forward th with that. It's going to cost a fortune. Um, and uh, the mainland press doesn't cover it very often, but when they do, they, of course, um, take the left-wing view, and uh, anti-American, anti-military, anti-self-defense forces, anti-Abe, Prime, Prime Minister Abe, um, and uh, I'm not sure why they do that except that after the war they must have been indoctrinated 